All right, man, we back. You see the title. You can't interfere with other people's journey or path or whatever you want to call it. Now, this is probably not the best type of video for me to try to tackle in a short amount of time, but I think I can do it. <laughs> but um, what, something that I realized on this, you know, path of consciousness, you know what I'm saying, that I'm on, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. But what I've learned is you really can't get in the way of anybody's journey, meaning even though we may see things differently, and what I mean by we is the people that think like me and the people that watch these videos, you know what I'm saying, the people that are subscribed to my channel, um, we see things differently, you know what I'm saying, we have a different understanding you know, of a lot of things in the world and society and things like that. And at this point, it's helped me understand that you can't make anybody do anything. You know what I'm saying? You can't, like, you can only do so much. You can influence, but you can't really make anybody actually do anything. Even if you think it might be something that's really, really beneficial to them. Because realistically, nobody really knows what's best for them better than the individual does so you can't tell me what i need to do and i can't tell you what you need to do you know what i'm saying it's just kind of fortunate that we found each other because we to me i think that's just uh, uh i was gonna say confirmation but i guess yeah i guess it's confirmation that we're on a similar path or journey in life right and i think that you know being able to see things differently it's like you know especially seeing the way that society works and how you know people are kind of programmed and kind of brainwashed into doing certain things and acting a certain way and people don't even really realize it um it's helped me understand it's like you can't really like it has to come from within somebody just like nobody made me want to make these type of videos or speak this way or uh seek out the information that I'm into. It all came from inside. So understanding that you have to realize that, or it helps you realize that everybody else is the same way. It's like this. We all know individuals and people that have that thing or a few things that they know that they need to do, or they really, really want to do it. And they just don't work toward it. They just keep thinking about the idea of having a lot of money or having a better car or having a healthier body or, or being in shape. You know what I'm saying? We all know people like that. And we all know people that have all those things. And a lot of the times we know people that have the things that we want and we can listen to them, take advice. We, we can listen to them, take advice from them all day, every day. And then we can stay in the same position because we're not applying any of the information and applying and executing is a very individual thing. You cannot make somebody do that. It doesn't matter what type of information they take in. Perfect example, you can go on YouTube right now and type in motivational speeches. You can look up TED Talks. Those videos get millions of views. And why are so many people still sad, still depressed, still out of shape, still not making a lot of money, still not living the way that they want to? It's 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 fun and it's it's it, it feels good to watch those things, but then when it comes to applying it and doing it, that's where people fall short because that's not the fun part. That part is not fun because you're, as soon as you decide to change, you automatically step into uh, uncharted territory and you're in a complete, you're in a completely different zone. You're in a completely different space and nothing is really familiar to you and it's not comfortable and that shit is scary and I understand it, but if you seriously want to change, you have to step into that uncertainty. You have to step into that darkness. You got to be lost. You know what I'm saying? Because eventually you'll be found, but you got to keep walking. You got to make your way to that light. And then you realize this is all I had to do uh, uh, to begin with. I just had to do this one thing. I just had to be okay with being lost. And um, like realizing all that shit that I just said, it's like you can't make anybody take action. Like people are going to take action when they want to. Some people never do it. You know what I'm saying? And that's just kind of something you got to be okay with. Like, as much as I want to empower and 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 bring I want to as much as I want to bear water to the people, everybody's not going to want that water. Everybody's not going to drink that water. And you got to be OK with the fact that you got to just let some people 
fucking suffer, bro. And I know that might sound harsh and fucked up, but it's the truth because you can't make anybody do anything. You can't make anybody want to be better. You know what I'm saying? They have to make that choice. You know what I'm saying? I could give somebody a million dollars in hopes that they do something good with that money and they could blow all that fucking money. And I can't be mad because there was it wasn't guaranteed that they were going to do anything with that money. They did what they wanted to do with that money. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's something that um, I've accepted. I've started accepting it. As much as I think that I've accepted it, I, I still can't help but, you know, hope and see hope for the best for individuals and i don't i don't know if that's something that's ever going to change but it's just like realizing that like it was this video i was watching a long time ago where the guy was saying he's like you got to just let people suffer and like initially like looking at the title like i was like damn that's kind of fucked up but then when i watched it i'm like nah it's not fucked up at all it's real you know what i'm saying so um yeah anyway <laughs> i hope all that made sense i kind of just started talking and then it turned into that but that's how all my fucking videos are man but um let me know if any of that makes sense man like if if you're the the one in your family or your friend group or whatever it is that that sees things the way that we see things and, and have made a serious change in your own life and you're like proof of that and you're surrounded by or you know a lot of individuals that are just they they right there but they just won't make that jump and it's frustrating to you I understand it. I get it. I see it every fucking day. But at the end of the day, you got to be there for that person for when they decide to get serious or when they decide to take that leap. You be there for them. But making them take that leap, we just can't do that. Because if that was the case, you know how many people I would have pushed? <laughs> I would have pushed hella people off the building already. Just if I knew that that shit was going to work, I would have pushed so many people. But it just don't work like that. And at the end of the day, man, that, that shit is okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just got to find a way to accept it. And everybody going to live their life the way that they want to live it. You know what I'm saying? Just like we live our lives the way that we want to live ours. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully all that made sense, man. Uh, that's all I got for today. Got a long shift ahead of me, but we about to knock this shit out. But don't none of that matter. Because <laughs> next time y'all see me, it's going to be on this camera. It's not going to be at work. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Hopefully y'all like that one. Y'all take it easy. Catch y'all on the next one. Y'all have a good one, man. Peace.